Hello everyone, I'm back with part two of a three-part tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple folded paper or create folds on your papers using a gradient. And if you saw the last video, I showed you how to create your own custom gradients. So following along in that theme, I'm going to show you now how to create a custom gradient and use it to create a fold or multiple folds, whichever you prefer. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my gradient tool, which you'll find here. Again, that's underneath the paint bucket or the flood fill tool. So we'll go to gradients. Now here I have already created the gradient that I want to work with and I'm going to show you how it's set up. We have one, two, three, four folds. As you can see, they're pretty evenly spaced. Now, the thing with this gradient and the folds is that we're going to have concave and convex folds. So what that means is that if you look here at the very first fold, we have the black to the left and the white to the right. And that creates a concave, meaning that it's folded inwards. And if you come over here to the next fold, you'll see that it's convex, meaning that the point or the fold is facing outward. We have our white to the left and the black to the right and so on and so on. I've created a couple of different gradients and I'm going to quickly show them to you. Now we have just one single fold. And remember, if you want it to fold inwards, you want your white to the right. If you want it to fold outwards, you're gonna go ahead and put the white to the left. And you see here, I hope you can see, this is a very hard edge. So if you wanted a very sharp crease in the paper, then you would leave that just as it is. But if you want to soften it up a little bit, then you want to play around here with your color sliders and move your sliders so that the edge is not as stiff. I want to create a pleat that extends upwards, so I'm going to leave it just like that. Now I'm going to show you how this works, so I'll just go ahead and click OK. Now you want to create a new layer and grab your gradient tool. And now you can see that I've created the fold. And now all I have to do is change the blending mode. And depending on the color of your paper is going to depend on which blending mode you choose. You could use overlay, maybe multiply, uh, more than likely soft light. And then you can adjust it to your liking. Now, you can see that this line is not perfectly straight, and that's because when I drew my gradient, I was not perfectly straight. So if you want to have that perfectly straight, then when you're drawing your line, be sure to hold down your shift key as you're going from right to left, and your line will be perfectly straight. And you can go ahead and set that to soft light, and there you have your fold. So what you could do is duplicate this layer, and maybe you just want two pleats and you can slide that wherever you want it. If you wanted to fold it two times, you could do that. Or if you want it to, you could inverse that. Okay, now you have one fold that is convex and one that's concave. And you could move that in like that. And that's how you basically create a fold. So let's say you want to create a fold on the edge of your paper. Then you grab your gradient tool, hold down your shift key, and then you just draw a line diagonally. And then you set that to soft light. You could move that around however you like. You could duplicate it and do it on both edges. That's 
how you create a very simple fold. And now we're going to create multiple folds. And here we're going to go back to our gradients. And this time we're going to select this gradient. Click OK. Now we'll create a new layer. Hold down the shift key. Draw from right to left. And now you can see what I was talking about. You have accordion folds. One fold goes in, the next goes out, in, out, and now we'll just go over here and set our blend mode to soft light. Now if you wanted to make the folds a little bit stronger, you could go ahead and duplicate that layer and lower the opacity until it's strong as you like it. And I like that. So if you want it a little bit darker, I'm going to duplicate my background layer and pull it up above my gradients. And then that just brings in a little more depth. And I'm going to flatten this layer. and promote it to a layer once again. And there you have it. That's how you create a pleated fold using gradients. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Tune in for the next one where I'm going to show you how to turn this into an accordion frame.